Hi guys, it's Clash Counter Raids here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Harley Farming Raids. And today I've got some really cool Harley Farming Raids. Just like the episode before, we got some nice, decent Balloonian Raids. I've still got two Rage spells in this raid, so sadly I didn't have all my, race, all my spells. But as it is an inactive Town Hall 10, and it's a premature Town Hall 10, the Elephant sucks, the Arch Towers suck, so it's, it's a pretty easy raid for us considering we only have three spells. And. I put this he spell down in the middle because I knew there'd be an absolute barrage of hidden Teslas and air defense and arch towers, and even though they are low level, they still do some damage. You know, so I've got to like watch out for that. So these wizard towers actually do quite a lot of damage. As, as I said in the last episode, they can do some serious damage. Like right now, they're about to take out pretty much all my loons. Which like look, one more shot, boom, down. Like how crazy is that? Like. There's nothing else I could do. They didn't have another rage spell, which kind of sucks. So luckily, I've got my king and queen. So hopefully, they do the rest of the damage on this base and get us the three star. We also have want to get most of loot. Most of loot is in these mines and pumps. So this is one of those things we got to do. So we've got to keep an eye on our king and queen. We've also got some nice minions going around, taking out some of these buildings. Luckily, there's enough of them to actually do some damage. Got a king going around the sides. I've got my queen, and she's getting distracted by the other cannon. When she should have been shooting the dip, the cannon to her right, which kind of sucks, which means that that cannon is quite easily going to take her out, and this minion tries to like save the queen, go after this cannon, but he isn't going to get it, She, he, the cannon shoots one more, and then the arch queen shoots one, and the second the cannonball reaches the queen, she dies, so that kind of sucks, we've got 99%, still got one last builder in the corner here, got a raged king and some minions going around to the bottom corner, just to take out this one builder's hut, and it's pretty much down, there we go, 100%, and 200k of each and 50k of each loot bonus so that's really decent and then another one here nice collector raid again and I've got on some archer raids so I've got so I decided that I was kind of I was losing a bit too much elixir so I needed to build some backup so I can start sorting that out to get my archers level 7 where my research lab is done researching level 6 minions so we've still we just have some nice collector raids here and so after we've got the 44% we kind of go for the 50% and we get it but I kind of just want to see if there's any gold that I can get if I leave the archers going around one more archer in the can castle but I'm not going to pop down the can castle I'm just going to leave the these archers going around as they are and they don't take have a very long lifespan do they so they've got two seconds left Took that last archer and the raid's over 200k of each plus a loot bonus 50k added to each of those the loot bonus Another one here, a really nice collector raid once again with archers, so it's quite easy to get all the loot in this one because with archers, they're really cheap to make. You make quite a big profit if you have a nice bit of elixir in the raid. And this is just a cheap raid, and it's quite easy to use once you get used to it and once you know which, to, how many units to drop down, where the defenses are, where splash units are. You try to drop lots of units but drop them spread out because if you drop lots of units together, it's going to be no point. So you drop them spread out around the splash damage units, but it can't really do much damage. So the top there, we I knew that gold mine had a little bit left in it, and I dropped down an archer at the top there to just to distract that mortar. The loads of archers there to take it down. So we've got 45%. Got our arch queen. Got a few more archers left. So I put her ability on just so we can try and get this last percentage point. So we get 50%, and then we surrender right there. So that's 200k gold, a little bit less elixir, but we have the loot bonus. That's another 50k elixir, which is pretty damn cool. So right here. Really, is a really nice uh, balloonian raid and I really literally just got this one it's almost 400k elixir with the loot bonus it is over 400k elixir about 430k with the loot bonus so it spams the art some of the blues down this is sped up by the way this isn't just my game being fast this is just sped up because it's I've got another raid to show you after this which is a bit long so I don't really want to have this video to be too long so we've got that inferno tower in the center there which can be a bit of a problem we've got all our spells so we drop another one down there so we get that air defense and then the Balloons just go out the base, and then those balloons on the left there, they were getting low on health, so I plop that heal spell down on them to make sure they have enough health to go around the base and just to keep destroying, really. So, some minions left, and those going around the side of the right there, luckily avoiding most of the defenses, apart from that Tesla right there, which has been quite annoying. And then this, this air bomb just kind of follows us around the base, and then loads of air bombs just spring up and destroy some units, but luckily, some balloons survived. And there's only two more buildings left, one more on the barracks now, and that rate that rate's done. It's pretty cool. Over 400k uh, gold, and then about 300k elixir. So nice collector right here. Again, so it's a town of nine. So we pop our balloons down, then our minions following it. 
we've got all of our spells, so we put up a spell down there because I know they're going to be followed in there. Then they're going to go back out, so they go split up into two groups. Minions are going to go straight for the center here. Luckily, those exposed are down, and some hidden testers pop up, but. Hey, we've got level 6 balloons and some rage spells, so there's not really much that can destroy those. And on the left there, those balloons are getting a little bit lower than the ones on the right, so I drop that heal spell where those balloons are going to go into it, because there's defences around there, so they kind of like they float along in the heal spell, which makes them throw a little bit longer. On the top there, that balloon just does a little bit of damage to that Tin Tesla, but you can see how much damage that Wizard Tower did to those balloons right there. It's absolutely crazy. So, got some insane loot from this one, and I still Tower 9, and so I've got 7 million gold at the moment. Which I'm going to be spending on an expo level 4 when I can. So that was about 270k of each uh, loot. So that's pretty cool. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.